Before I moved to Brookline a couple years ago, I used to live in Dorchester, Roxbury area in Boston. I used to live with my grandma. And after she passed away, we bounced, bounced around area to area. This year hasn't been like so good for me. I've been struggling a lot with like grades, keeping up with my classes. And like Tori and Wega and Lynette kind of like guide me through it. So it's like easier for me to get my work done and do better in school. The staff members here that have helped me is Wega and Lynette. They're very supportive. Um, you can always go to them when things not going right, especially like personal life situations. Um, they're trustworthy. Um, I've opened up a lot to them about what has gone on and I feel like it's helped me especially because I usually keep stuff bottled in. So now I'm freely opening up to them about whatever goes on. I guess it's like a nice place to come to just like escape from everything else. Um, and also it's like there's no really judgmental people here. They're just like because I'm from Malaysia, I'm a Muslim, but that doesn't that's never really mattered. Scene Center has definitely made me feel more safe, have a bigger role of just being Austin. And this me being Austin is just me comfortable with being myself, but also being a role model to anyone that comes to the Scene Center, no matter if you're younger than me or older than me. I just I like to set the best example for Brookline Teen Center. These kids definitely looking for somebody to care about them and care that they're doing the right things and care that they're, they even want somebody to pay attention. We all want to know that we are important and we all want to be a priority once, you know, and these kids are our priority. When they walk in these doors, these kids are our priority. Although Brookline is an amazing community, it's not an equal community. And if we want to make sure that we provide opportunities for kids to grow and develop and become healthy, uh, happy uh, and successful adults, then it starts right here. I think there's an expectation for a lot of our kids to just float by and to just not be a part of the problem instead of actually expecting that these kids can really do well, expecting that these kids can really fly. I've had so many people that have said to me, you've only been here six years, it feels like it's been here forever. And that's because it's a needed part of our community. It would be a tragedy if we weren't able to fund the Teen Center to be here for the long term.